I want to share with you today my secret to making really good macaroni and cheese, the instant stuff. So what I'm going to use here is some 2% milk. You can use whole milk if you want. Some butter. The cheese packet that comes with your, your uh, macaroni and cheese. Two slices of processed cheese. And my favorite um, instant or fast mac and cheese is the PC deluxe cheddar. So get it in there, cook it for seven minutes like it says on the package. Do not put salt in this water guys because we got enough salt over there going on. And you're going to love this method. It's very creamy, very rich, beautiful stuff. So I'm going to cook this for seven minutes and strain it and then show you the next step. You're also going to require a whisk and a spatula. Past is almost finished. Uh, do not overcook this. Do not make it mushy. I'd rather have it a little bit undercooked and let it finish cooking in the sauce, then have it overcooked now and then cook more when we put the sauce in it. It's going to get too mushy. Pasta is cooked and, and drained. I'm going to put a tablespoon of butter in here. And about a quarter cup of milk to start. We can always add more later. I want you to get those two pieces of cheese in there. Just tear them up roughly. And I get this on low heat right now. I want this cheese to melt. And then we're going to get in there with our whisk. And just stir it around. Okay, let this melt. It is melted. We made what is called a processed cheese sauce. Now we're going to get the packet of cheese that came with your macaroni and cheese kit. We're going to mix this around. You'll see it gets really, really thick. And I want you to keep stirring it until all this cheese, all the lumps, pretty much come out, okay? Just like so. Now we can add a little bit more milk, just a little bit at a time, until you get the consistency of the sauce you like. And I'm just going to keep adding a little bit more at a time. Not too much though. Beautiful sauce, as you can see. Just get all those lumps. This is really important. Get those lumps out of there. Now let's go in with our pasta. Beautifully cooked pasta here. Now I just want to fold it in with the spatula. Beautiful, creamy. Very good. Now what I like to do is, I'm not going to add any more milk because the sauce is nice. I'm going to let this cool down a little bit so the sauce thickens up. Okay, as it, as it cools down a bit, it will thicken up for you really nicely. What I also like to do while it's cooling down a bit, I like to just lightly fold it into itself. This allows some air to get into the sauce and kind of makes it a bit more, I guess you could call it uh, fluffy, gives it more aeration and <clears throat> helps it cool down but more importantly it's going to allow some of the sauce to go inside each piece of this macaroni. And I can see this is cooling down nicely. The sauce is starting to adhere to the pasta every moment I do this. So I'm ready to plate up. Have a look at this guys. That's so nice. Hope you give this a try. It is very good. Very, very good. Great texture. Great flavor. That extra bit of cheese just bumps that cheesiness up so nicely. I know the kids will enjoy that. And even the adults. I like to put a little bit of pepper on top. And then hot sauce, ketchup, whatever else you like. Or just as is. Beautiful. Beautiful macaroni and cheese. Give it a try and enjoy it.